So UiPath have made it so much easier to use ChatGPT inside of UiPath Studio. Just in four steps, we can connect and use ChatGPT with the model of GPT 3.5 or any other model offered by OpenAI. Hi, my name is Rena. I'm a UiPath UDP and an RPA expert, and today we're going to see how we can use ChatGPT inside of UiPath Studio. Let's dive right in. So the first thing that we're going to start with is go to platform, that's openai.com. Here we need to create an account. So I'm going to go ahead and create an account myself. Once you create the account, you will have access to the platform OpenAI. This is all optional, so you just make something just basically say something arbitrary. I select this, continue. We need a phone number. I will just give them my phone number. Good. So now we are going to go to personal, view API keys. And here we can create our own API key by clicking on cre create a new secrets API key. So I'm going to copy this. You have to keep this somewhere so that you're not going to lose it later on. I'm going to put it in a notepad and then later on, I am going to basically use it here and later on I'm going to delete it. So you have to keep the secrets because everyone or anyone can use this API key and they can abuse basically if you have credits in there, if you have a bait plan, you have to make sure that nobody uses it because they can abuse it and use a lot of money. So now that we have the API key, we need to go to cloud.uipad.com. Let's continue with Google. We already showed this in a previous video. So if you don't have an account with cloud.uipad.com, just refer to a previous video. I showed everything that we need to do, whether it's the installation, the download, or uh, your first process. So now we need to go to integration services on the left-hand side. And here we can find, we're going to search for connectors. Under connectors, we're going to search for OpenAI. We're going to choose the OpenAI connector, which is in preview. It could just have been introduced. We're going to click on add connection. And then we are going to paste our API key that we just have. We're going to click on connect and it's so easy. It's going to connect to our API key and it's going to start working. So now we are going to head to UiPath and we're going to create our first process. Note that UiPath has to be connected to the same Gmail that you used on cloud.uipath.com. So now we're going to create a new process. Let's call it chat GPT example. We're going to click on create. So now we need to go to manage packages, click on all packages. Make sure that we are including the pre-release so that we have preview packages that are in preview. And then we are going to, going to search for open AI. Here we're going to choose open AI by UiPath, this exact uh, package, and we can click on install. It's still on preview, but it's a working package. So let's click on install and let's click on save. Now we have all the prerequisites to be able to give prompts to ChatGPT and receive responses. So for this, we're going to go to the search bar and we're going to look for generate. So for the moment, we have two activities. We have generate chat and generate text. For the moment, we are going to use generate chat. It automatically will connect to the default uh, connection that we already have in integration services. If we have multiple, you can just choose from here. So here we will find a lot of properties that we can customize and we should customize. The first one is the instruction. So the instruction is part of the, uh, of the prompt. Just think of it as the header of the prompt. You want it to act as someone like a helpful assistant or 
a software engineer or any type of expert. So here we will change it to act like a software engineer. Now we're gonna go back to the uh, activity generated child completion and we're gonna change the prompt. So we wanted to act as a software engineer and we want the, the, the prompt to be something classic like uh, uh, generate and a Python code for Fibonacci or calculate them Fibonacci here. So now we have the instruction plus the prompt that will constitute the whole prompt that we will send to ChatGPT. Coming back to the properties, we have the max tokens. This is the, the maximum number of tokens and tokens is, it is a description of a unit of measure that has been created by ChatGPT to tell us how many tokens are, is in an answer or is in a prompt. So for example, you have cat, that's one token. You have peer, that's one token. You have something like sequence is also one token, but then you find words like, I don't know, institution, that, that could be four or five tokens. So it's not really uh, one thing. It's not uh, it's not really a number of characters in a, in, a, in a letter. It could be one letter, it could be so much more. So it's just a unit of measure that have been created by ChatGPT. There are ways to tokenize. And we're gonna talk about this in the next video. So here, the three properties we care about right now is instruction, max tokens, and the response. We're gonna take the top generated text. I've already created uh, a string called top response, and we're gonna put it inside of that uh, string. So we already have a variable called top response, and we're gonna put it inside of here. So now uh, we, we are all set. We didn't do anything basically, we just changed a couple of things. And now we can do a right line to keep it, to keep the generated uh, code in the output logs. And we can say it's stop response. And then yeah, I'm going to show it on the screen just for it to be clear. And here we're gonna have a message box. You're gonna write it on the screen just for it to be clear. So it's all response. Good. That's it. We can launch the, the process right now. And that's it. B has finished. And, and now we have the, uh, the, the code that has generated and then we have a uh, uh, I don't know, an explanation that like, uh, like ChatGPT always like to do. So, uh, so yeah, this is basically it. Now we can basically give any prompts and receive answers only using one uh, activity. So this was uh, kind of a fast video just to see how we can interact with ChatGPT just to have some prerequisites. The next video is going to be more like about tokens. So we're going to see the tokenizer how we can better use the prompt and uh, have less tokens uh, sent and less tokens received in order to optimize the number of tokens that we're using because that translates to real money. If you are on a paid uh, subscription, we're gonna have the numbers of completion, which is also another property that is so important. And then we have the temperature, one of the most important properties and how we can set it to different numbers and then we can have different results uh, according to it. We have a lot of other things that we can see. We're also going to see the difference between the generate text and the generate uh, completion, the generate text completion and the generate chat completion and how uh, we can use this to uh, basically interact with so many different models and which models we should use according to our own case and also we should see the, the, the pricing points of every model because there are so many models that are so much more expensive than the other ones. So the ones that we have just been using was basically cheaper, a lot cheaper than other models. 
Uh, so we have to just be careful which models are we using, depending on the use case that we have. So all of these things we're going to talk about in, in, the, in the next video. We're going to have an actual use case where we're going to put this activity into play and see the power of ChatGPT inside of UiPath. So yeah, that was it for me, guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching until now. And yeah, subscribe so you can see the next videos and on everything that is coming after that. So yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Peace.